I took a little momentary break, I guess. Let's get the show on the road and move forward to one of the most annoying. A lot of it's weird. I love Skyrim, but I think almost every single thing about the game annoys me. <laughs> There's just so many areas I just hate going to to fight. More health. More health. I just want to have all heavy armor though, so we're gonna have to switch to that soon. Um. I really don't care about block. I might just switch to magic. I like shields, but I'm really thinking restoration, healing. Let's go two places to get geared up real quick. Because I, I'm thinking, why not? Let's go to Whiterun first to get the armor. Then we'll go to Solitude to get the spells. And then we'll go to... No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I don't, I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm sorry. Your whole quest line is just annoying. You guys are cool. You got cool outfits and stuff. I like it. I wish it was a little more in-depth to see more about you guys, but your quest line, it just ended up being a flop, and it's dumb, and I don't... Oh, I went the wrong way. So, yeah, I have three followers right now, so that that's something, and they'll just follow me forever, so I never have to go and do that quest if I don't want to. I always want to have three followers. But that doesn't really matter. It'd be interesting if he could swim to Soul Sign. Am I gonna have to unequip my heavy armor to do this? Who knows? Who knows? Is this gonna be difficult to do on PC? Hold on. Oops. No, 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 no. What is this nonsense? There we go. Dang it! Why did I do that? Hold on. Are you being serious? It is so hard to do this on PC. It is so hard to do this on PC. Give me a controller. I'll do it first try. Hold on. Let me try, let me try my uh my other keyboard real quick. We're not doing it. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. No. Nope. There's other places I can get it. There's other places. There's other places. I don't even I don't need to put my armor on. We'll figure it out. I'm not doing that. No. Nope. Uh-uh. No. Nope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explode. I'm gonna explode. Stop. I don't know what this anger is. I've been having anger. And it, it, I don't, I don't know. I know when it kind of started my anger, but I don't know what caused it. I don't know what caused it, but I know when it kind of started. I was grinding out... Where do you want to go? What's it called? It was a camo. In the call last Call of Duty I played, Modern Warfare 2. I was grinding out Orion. And I, I just decimate every lobby, so it wasn't like it was that difficult. But, um... Climb and back and we'll be off. I've already been to Solitude. Anyways, I was playing that, and then this one night I was playing, and I had just had this pressure start building up, right? Where even if I dropped 30 kills without dying, it, and then, like, died one time, right? Like, if you're doing, that's a good match, right? Like, you only died one time. That one time I died made me so enraged that I, like, I don't know. I, I think my blood pressure just started raising super high, which my dad has high blood pressure. And it might be a development of that, and it's causing me to have... Anger. But it's not like I'm angry at anything in particular. I just feel it. it makes me want to just fight. But I'm a really peaceful person. So it's just like I feel that and it's like this, right? 
there's nowhere to release it because I don't really have because it's not it, it's it's anger but there's no place for it there's no place for it with me so it's, it's just a, it's a weird scenario there's no place in my heart for anger and hate but my body feels it That was the best the way I could explain, explain it. Now everybody gets mad at some point in their life. I I know when I I I um. Riley's obsession with honor and tradition. Fun. You're just in the way, Lydia. Okay, I'll move very slowly, Skyrim. Very slowly. Very slowly. Lydia, please, please don't be up in my face the whole time. I can't pick it up with you. See what I mean? I think I just have some high blood pressure right now. Please address all questions to the steward. Thanks for just magically appearing right where I can't pick this up because you're in the way. Is it just wall? Why do you guys gotta be so annoying? My duty is to keep the yard safe, not the nursemaid to you sick fans. I'm not certain if this is the right spot or not, but I'm going to try. Oh! oh! Let's quick save right here, because I don't feel like doing whatever I did before. So I can just quick load if, if I miss. Well, I don't care that I have a bounty. Hold on. Let me read all these books. Because you're not getting my books back. That's what I, I can tell you that much. I don't even know how you've seen me do it. Yep. Here. I paid my bounty. One gold. Yeah, very... How did I get one gold for stealing all that? It doesn't even make sense. Go to the stables. We got some spells because I'm going to start being a little bit of a battle mage. Mainly just healing. I was just hoping that I'd hit some kind of healing spell in there. Yeah, fast healing. Whoops. Uh, favorite healing hands to heal someone else. Nope, don't really care about any of those other ones. Conjuration. Soul trap's a good one. A familiar. I don't have much magic, so I'll favorite that one. It could be fun. A sword. Soul trap if I want to get a level in. Ice spikes could be cool, but they don't do as much. Lightning bolt. Fire ruin. Fire bolt. Illusion. Muffle is definitely one of the best, one of my favorite ones. Candlelight, mage light, candlelight's better. There we go. Talk to Gaiman if you want a horse. Or I just wanted to see what shout I had. You know how many times I went to prison on this game because I accidentally used that shout on somebody just because I clicked it on accident? Take care of the horse. Oh, isn't there puzzles in there? Oh, you can see like the little blades thing on the mountain. Is it less foggy once we discover it? I've never actually kind of looked at it up on the mountain before like this. That's actually kind of cool. This area is cooler than I thought it was, I think. But I've never... I don't think I've ever came to it this way before. Or it's just always been a nightmare because I die there and go back. Because I always forgot to save when I played this game. I'd get here and realize how difficult it was and it'd kill me and send me all the way back to like Whiterun or something stupid. And then I have to walk over again and then die before I get there or just something happens. Or I get hit by fall damage. Just too impatient to really do much. I mean, this area is pretty cool. 
It's a little, it's really hard to navigate this area though because of how rocky it is. Alright, we're going to take a shortcut through the river because why not? I can't wait until I get my hat though soon. There's two dragons in this area right now. And that dragon does not like us. It's just a regular dragon, though. I keep thinking they're frost dragons. They look like frost dragons. I, I mean, he is a frost dragon, but he's not like, you know, the one I'm talking about. Oh, you know what? I've never actually just came up to this place from right here. Easy. This is like the easiest run I've ever had. What is this nonsense? Like, actually? I don't even understand at this point how easy this is going. Is the Alduin fight going to be easy too? Oh, he had a green apple. I kind of want to take that. He's a foreign sworn baron heart. We got to get him. He, luckily, he's not using a weapon. Right through his face, and he's done. Yeah, your helmet didn't shield that part, did it? Okay, I might have hit him a little harder than I thought I was going to. Blacksmith drought. I'll take some salts. We could go get a Daedric, uh, weapons. We could go get some Daedric weapons. I know a cheat code to get them. It'll only take about 30 minutes to get it. That's fine, though. I don't, I didn't see anything up there, but I think if I choose this one three times, it works. Okay. Is there anywhere around here where it says what, where to put those? No, I don't, I don't see anything. There's no hints. It's a good thing I just, I know what it is. If I didn't know what it was, I feel like that would have been a nightmare because I, I cannot see anything. Nope, I know what to do, I know what to do, I know what to do, don't kill- <sighs> Oh good, it saved right here, that's fine. I'm right behind you. I will remain on guard here. <laughs> I hate hearing them all click when I run over here. As you will, my thing. All right. It's not too hard of a puzzle, but these are some cool. They're the coolest puzzles in the game, I think. Other than like the one that they did, it it was a cool puzzle, but it was just so not in depth as it could have been. The one with the laser sword. That one could have been so much better. An orcish axe. That sounds kind of nice to me. Ooh, conjuration spells cost cast less, cost less. I mean, it kind of is kind of cast less. Unless you're just cast less. Yeah? Yeah? No, not good. Not my best word. Well, that was a big nose, bro. When I got close like this, you know what he, you know what he looks like? If you get this close to this statue? That guy that likes those trains and he has like the weird camera, camera angle. It's usually from up, but this looks like him. <laughs> That's funny. The blood seal. Another one lost because of the lies. No doubt triggered by This area is open. Your blood, practical one. Be a cool spot to make a base. Alright, let me just willingly cut my hand, which does not feel good when you get a cut straight across the palm. After me, okay. Time to get some armor. Ooh, is the blade armor heavy? Please tell me it's heavy armor. It looks like it would be heavy armor. 
it's light, that's going to be disappointing because I, I never use this armor. It says I always end up getting it when it's really just like such a low tier armor for what it is that it ends up just being dumb. It's heavy armor. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's weird because I never really see this armor. I kind of want to wear the frost resistant boots. Even though my character is already frost resistant. Let's see what this armor looks like. Oh yeah. This is going to be cool to use. Because I've actually never used this armor before. So... I've always seen it, I thought it looked cool, but I haven't, like, like, every time my, my armor was always better, so it was just a waste of time to use it, but to actually have it, and it is my strongest armor, just makes it actually, like, super cool. Weird. It's, it's a weird actually liking this armor for once. When Alduin and the dragon cult ruled over Skyrim, here, the it's like the wall in Shadows of Evil. It's so muddied up and ugly, you can't really even see anything. It's very detailed, but it's not detailed enough. There's a lot, there's like too much detail making it, so the detail... They favorited some of the other details in this too much. So it's a little difficult. It looks so good, though, as the poster that I have right here, though. As a poster, it looks good, but as a wall right here, it looks bad. So that's what it looks like. I have a bunch of Skyrim posters on this wall. They're all connected together, like the map, scenery, the wall, the guy standing there with the dragon tail around him. Presumably something rather specific to Dragon, or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news of Alduin's recent birth. So we're looking for a shout, then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? The Greybeards might know. Although that shout is made from pure hate. Oh, we're gonna have to get the uh, the Elder Scrolls. I just remembered. That's part of the game. We're gonna have to go to the Underdark. It's actually not gonna be too difficult at all. I think we can somewhat speed run it. Look at this place. This is cool. I remember one of my. Uh, Skyrim Professional videos, it ended kind of here. This is where, like, I stopped playing. They wanted me to kill Parthenax or whatever. Well, I did do a save where I went and did it, but then they didn't give me really any rewards, and I was just like, well, that kind of sucks that it stops right there, and then I reloaded. So you have to be kind of a monster to kill Parthenax, even if you're trying to complete your quests. Make it your very last one that you have to complete, and then uh, load back after completing it. Then you're not a monster. Just wanted a taste at that point. Oh, right. I wonder when we're going to talk to Parthenax, though. It would have been funny if I named my cat Parthenax. Oh, that which would have just been dumb. Okay, I remember what I was trying to name. I was trying to name some of my wyverns in a, an arc. Like Parthenax and stuff like that. Sky above. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blade, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades? 
for their own purposes? Hmm. At least the blades aren't giving secrets from me. The blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. The blades just want to help me defeat Alduin. Don't you? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Oh, yeah. oh is that Parthenac telling him? Oh. It's the other Greybeards talking. They have to whisper because their voices became too powerful. That's what happened, I think. Now forgive me. I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einar reminded me. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So you can teach me no, the shout? I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called <laughs> Dragon Rend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragon Rend holds no place within <laughs> the way of the voice. You look like Jedi Sith. Alright. I always have to say Jedi Sith. I can't just say they look like Sith. Because Sith are just Jedi's plus. I don't know. They got like the membership or something. Um, I thought you knew all the words of power. What's so bad about Dragon Rin? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons. And they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. The shout is lost. How can Only I defeat Parthenax, Alduin? The master of our order can answer that question, if he so chooses. Speak to Parthenix then. Still aren't ready. But thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthenix can answer. Why haven't I met him yet? Why not? In seclusion on the very I already know that part. Rarely, and never to outsiders. What I'm curious what they would say if I ask who is Parthenix, knowing Alina, what I know. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Okay. How do I get to the top of the mountain? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. I wish I could remember what I was expecting initially. Because I'm trying to think about, through their description, what was I thinking their leader was going to look like or be like? But I definitely was not expecting a dragon. Keep going. Don't wait for me. Fez is just horrible with quests making you follow somebody. And the fact they never move the same speed as you. Or they're either too slow or they're too fast. Or they keep stopping if you get too close to them. Or they just stop for nonsense. If, I get, if I've gotten too close, he's going to turn and look at me first. Okay. Mr. Anger. Oh. oh, so if I hold shift, it feels like I'm sprinting. Interesting. Surprising that no, I was talking to the blades based on how I was dressed. <laughs> but you know. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. 
I just hate how they get like a little. It feels like when he says this is your final gift from us, it just sounds like he's like, I don't really like you no more. So this is the final thing we're doing for you. It makes me feel like they don't like me. Alright, keep talking, old man. I'm just gonna go. And now it's time to reach the summit to talk to the leader of the Mongolian Empire. I'm liking these headphones, though. I am liking them. I'm curious how they're gonna fit with a hat. I was so ready to kill this guy the first time. And the thing is, I, I know I've said this before, but when I initially talked to these dragons, I thought that was their face right there. Now, hold on, you gotta look at it the way I'm looking at it. You see his nostrils? I thought those were his eyes. I thought that whole front area with his face, I didn't realize that it was just the front of his snout, and if you go back, it has his whole face and head. I just thought it was all up front like that. And I just always was just like, this is so weird. With his two little eyes right here, teeth, you know what I'm saying? Even though his eyes are back here. Isn't that weird, though, that I thought that? Now looking at him, like, what, what kind of sense does it make for him to look like that? But that's how I always seen it. And it does look like a mean face. But, uh, yeah. I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me. Why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. Long tradition, the elder speaks first. Hear my thum, feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dova King. His little spit out wings. I have spoken. He's so cool. I'm thinking about doing clean shave though, but I just, I don't know how I feel about doing that yet. We'll see. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. Okay, he just wants to feel some warmth on his bones is really what's going on. Basically, this whole, this whole talk at the beginning was, he's kind of cold and he needs someone to, <laughs> to warm him up real quick. <laughs> He's getting off on it. You, Froda. you would not come all this way for Timvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. So, how did you know I came for Dragonrin? as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. 
Why do you want to learn this, Thun? That's none of your business. Thank you very much. I like this world, and I don't want it to end. I need to stop Alduin. That's all I'm trying to do. That's my goal right now. Prophecy says I'm the only one that can stop him. I like this world, and I don't want it to end. I like that one. Kruza has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin. Would you stop the next world from being born? All right. Well, first of all, that's a whole load of baloney. All right. There's no point for the what if. It's right now in the here and now, and I want to save this world, all right? The next one can come to pass whenever it comes to pass, but it, if I can stop this from happening, then it was meant to be stopped. So I didn't come here to debate philosophy with you, partner. <laughs> you have much to learn of the dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to a dove. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Timbak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Krosis, now. I will answer your so what you're saying is when a dragon flies over Whiterun and burns down like three churches and six schools full of children, they're just screaming like, LGB rights, and it just goes, Shh, or conservative this, or liberal this, and that's what they're doing? They just basically scream some kind of political, polo, whatever it is, and they just burn up the school. <laughs> or, <laughs> like, I voted Biden, I voted Trump. I voted and they're just screaming that and it just burns the villages down I don't I don't I don't think that's what dragons do you know what I'm saying like I, if, if it's dragon versus dragon I I could see I could see that happening as a debate battle but when you're just burning down a village I'm not thinking they're th saying stuff like that I think they're just saying die um, hopefully I didn't say anything that YouTube hated during that because I was just trying to make some examples there just pulling some random things that I've heard all right no dragons wait no dragons like mountains right <laughs> true but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues Varucht Unslad perhaps none but me now remember how was defeated. Mm, yes and no. Viknus Nikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the dragon rend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Oak Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. So you're saying the ancient Nords sent Alduin forward in time? It's always interesting that there was time travel in this game. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Teed Bo Amativ. 
Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. So why didn't you see him spawn then? Okay. Blah 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 blah. Okay, where do I find this Elder Scroll at? I find it underground. You actually don't technically know. You just know it's here. Ezra and Aegon might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. So, what would you ask of me? Um, how can I find this? What does the dragon wrench shout actually do? Okay. Now that we talked to him, we got what we needed. Optional, talk to him. Optional, talk to them. Optional, go to Winterhold and actually do what I'm supposed to do. I went to the stables here? When did I get- Oh, yeah, I, I remember now. So let's just go to Winterhold. We'll figure it out from there. Curious how long the recording's gone already. I can take you to Where do you want to go? But let's at least get to Winterhold. Climb and back and we'll be off. Well, let's at least get to Winterhold and then uh go to where I find the Elder Scroll location person. And then from there I I can figure it out. I think I know some paths we can take. It'd be cool if, um, at the end of this game, you could choose to go back in time to, like, a different version of Skyrim. So it changes your game if you do this quest. And, like, it's before this collapsed here. You know what I mean? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Or if there was a quest here at the College of Winterhold, right? And near the end of the quest, that orb, that guy actually wins and he, it works, but it explodes. But something bad happens and it sent you back in time and you do some quests and it actually you prevent the events of this collapsing and when you do that it chain reacts the future and brings you back and you're able to stop the orb and then it didn't really save anything but you know it's just like a weird zigzag that zips everything together and then just somehow you know it kind of works out in the end that'd be weird interesting concept zipping back and forth through time just to get the timeline fix or not technically trying to fix the timeline but by changing the timeline you change the future where it zipped you back to give you a second chance in the place that you needed to be to be very awaited map you need to go this way Imagine if this freezing cold water would kill you in this game. That'd be interesting. It makes sense. I'm surprised it doesn't. Especially wearing, like, steel armor like this and then going into freezing cold water. Oh. Definitely would not be comfortable. Be nice and cold. I mean, I like to be really cold all the time, so... I mean, there is that, but not that cold. Recently, I've been trying to get a little more okayed with being thawed out, and I actually got sick. I think I got sick because I thawed out. So what I did is I, I decided to get my body really, really, really warm. And it felt weird, because my body wasn't warm in a long time. I was just like a cold skeleton, I guess. And, um, I got sick. So my body thawed out. And then, um, I've been wearing extra layers lately, and it's been fine. I haven't been getting sick from wearing extra layers anymore. So I basically had to try to switch my body from cold-blooded back to warm-blooded. If that makes any sense. I know that kind of just sounds crazy, but it was something along the lines of that. But I probably chose poor words in that, so it sounds more insane than it actually was. But yeah, something like that. Look at these horkers. Look at them. Look at them. They're so dumb. Look at them. Look at them. 
There's so many of them. <laughs> They're so dumb. They're so dumb. I would just slaughter them, but there's no point. Or the big old gummy droppy wops. Oh, oh, hey. How you doing? <laughs> it's trying so hard to get me. Makes me want to give it a hug. I think I need to go out to this island over there, but I'm going to check and see this cave. But I think it's an unmarked location for the most part. This right here, I think, is the prison. I'm definitely thinking this right here is the prison. No, it's not the prison, is it? Maybe the prison's the unmarked location. Okay, because this is where I need to be, I can tell. It's the triangle spot. Perfect. Marasolosis. I'm thinking of that weird Daedric guy that talks in here that's like more boring than boring. When the top part, wow. The Elder scroll, I you have the Elder Scroll here? Yeah. It is not in my possession. So where is it? Blah blah blah. Septimus Sigmus. I don't really feel like listening to what this guy has to say because I kind of want to zip through this part. He's just in crazy and he's just like, he talks in riddles the whole time, none of it makes sense. Transcribe the lexicon. Is he gonna appear? I think he's going to appear right here. Usually Squidman just appears right here. Interesting. Maybe not. Okay, and there is our way in to the Underdark. To get the Elder Scroll. Now, I feel like this would be a very good point to end it because the Underdark is a huge quest line. And we can go down there, find the Elder Scroll, go up to Alduin reveal the shout and everything like that and then continue from there so this is that makes this just perfect and i i can see what the next alliance or the next chapter we're going to do here so i hope you guys all enjoyed leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one when we continue this game